everybody, it's Scarlet Siren. By um, overwhelming amounts of requests um, over the last couple of months to make a YouTube channel, um, here I am. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Scarlet Siren. Um, I am a Fort Myers based cosplayer. I've been cosplaying since 2014. Um, I've just happened to have been doing a lot of redheaded characters, so that's how I got my name. Um, I work with a character company, uh, Just a Little Magic Princess Events. So a lot of my characters that I do um, are available to have at parties and stuff through them. I do a lot of their marketing as well. I run the Fort Myers Cosplay Club. So we usually run about monthly events that, um, that all the cosplayers in the general area can get around uh, together and do different things, whether they're photo shoot events or it's a beach day or a picnic or whatever we feel like doing. Um, so I'm a very busy lady. So I figured today would be an okay day to kind of start things off because I had a uh, photo shoot today as my new OC Nova Knight, the Galaxy Mermaid character. Um, whatever pictures that I end up getting back, I'll post in this video or um, on my social media whenever I get them back um, in the next day or two. So this is Nova, the Galaxy Mermaid character that I created. Um, we're doing a lot of swimming mermaid parties um, for the company, for the princess company, and I wanted to see if people would be interested in having somebody besides the average um, Ariel. So I found the tail on Facebook Marketplace for $30. It came with the monofin, so I started with that and I just grew. I was looking for concept photos and looking for ideas on what kind of top I wanted to do. And I decided on this kind of design with the fin pieces over the torso and then just pretty straightforward scales all the way up and down on a bandeau type of bathing suit. So my journey was pretty simple. Uh, just finding a bathing suit, finding how to videos on how to do it. So um, I took silicone and you pretty much just put a blob of silicone and take a plastic spoon and smush it a little bit so it turns into a scale and you just do that about 50,000 times until um, you have most of this. I left this part um, blank until that finished curing and the way that I made these fins was I took a uh, just a big old glob of silicone and smeared it across a piece of plastic just so it wouldn't stick to whatever it's laying on and then I ran through it with a fork and a bread knife and a couple other things just to add the the fin texture here so that turned out really good the silicone stuck really well to the bathing suit I was very happy about that um, because of the silicone's slickness there's not a whole lot of paints out there that can actually stick to silicone so everything is chipping off because I didn't use the right kind of paint. So as you can see, everything's just chipping off in pieces. Um, it just barely survived the photo shoot. I knew that it was already chipping when um, I was finished with it. It was all drying. I was trying it on and it started uh, chipping in the places where it was stretching. So I knew that I had to redo it when this photo shoot was done as Torn as I am to kind of redo all of this hard work, it's obviously not lasting. But here's what I did uh, for my makeup for the photo shoot. There you go. Uh, my lashes did fall off when I was doing some majestic hair flips and just getting beat up by the waves. So my lashes aren't on anymore, but I did have my lashes on. Um, so we have the purple and then the aqua blue and I have the light um, white kind of shimmery stuff going on um, I would have I was looking for a bunch of different tutorials on different galaxy looks and all of that and the thing that I was mainly running into is um, putting the makeup all of the dark shades on the lid of my eye typically makes my eyes look a lot rounder than they actually are and I like to have more of an almond shape to my eyes so I usually have to have a lighter color on the inner corner and usually about to halfway through my eye and then have all of the colors that are a little bit darker um, kind of fade out that way. I don't know if it's 
viewable from here. I'm just using my phone to record. Um, I got this wig. Um, it's an Amazon wig. I got it used. Um, I got a lot. I get a lot of stuff thrifted and used and everything because it's a little bit cheaper. But this was about a ten dollar wig, and the way that I kind of uh, fixed it up a little bit is I trimmed a lot of these bangs just to add a little variation in the length. So it looks a little bit more realistic. I did the same thing with this side. Not as much. I didn't want to make it too look uh, look too Karen-like. And then for the roots, just so it doesn't look so intense, I used an alcohol-based uh, spray paint. Or not a spray paint. It's, um, it's a non-aerosol spray. It's a little pump. So I poured that out um, into a little cup and I put some rubbing alcohol in it to water it down and I used a paintbrush to kind of dry brush um, on the roots. So it looks a little bit more natural and not so harsh um, around the part area. So that's what I did to the wig. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, but aside from the obvious problems with the chipping, you know, I'm pretty happy with this costume. But this was just kind of a little test of seeing if you guys are interested in me posting a little bit more about the stuff that I work on, about my photo shoots that I do, about um, different events. Feel free to let me know on Facebook and um, messaging me and putting in the comments and just let me know somehow. Until next time. I don't know an outro. Bye!